This is IBM supercomputer beating the great chess champion Garry Kasparov. In 1997, it was considered to be a big victory of machine over human brain. The thing is, it was not really an intelligent machine because it was not capable of learning anything by itself. Indeed, in chess, the world is fully predictable. There is a limited number of squares, of pieces, and a very simple set of rules. So if you put enough computer power to it, it's obvious the machine will win. Now, the real world is actually much more complex. Let's take an example. For instance, you have to do the laundry of someone you don't know. Even though it's the first time you are seeing all those clothes, you are nevertheless able to very quickly spot a stain on that shirt. Now, if you would ask a machine to do the same, it will be completely lost. It doesn't know where to start. You would have first to program it. So let's do that. Let's program it to recognize ketchup stains. It's easy. They are of irregular shape, red-colored. So you take those rules, you translate that into computer code put in the robot, and then you put it to the test. You show the robot this nice shirt. It has a nice flower on it. So the robot will go through the rules. He finds that there is a feature, irregular shape, red-colored, so he will shout, it's a ketchup stain. But that's wrong. Of course, it's a flower. So you just have to add rules to improve the system. Well, in fact, you would have to add an infinite number of rules because there is an infinite number of possible shirt design and anomalies. So that's just too big of a problem to be solved with programming. So what makes us human better than computers to solve those challenges? It's because we humans can generalize from our experience and imagine new things. For example, if I ask you to imagine a red shirt with a yellow square on it, a red shirt with a yellow square on it, in your imagination, it looks like something like this. So at VD, we enable computers to generalize and imagine new things. Now, with VD, no programming is required anymore. We just have to show a couple of samples to the system. Now, our robot is gifted with artificial intelligence. It can cope with the unpredictable nature of the world. OK, I use this example of a laundry robot just to illustrate the principle where our technology is actually used is, for instance, in the airline industry. Every week, several aircrafts are hit by a lightning strike. And when it happens, the plane has to go through a thorough inspection. Up to one million rivet and screw heads have to be manually inspected and the smallest defect has to be found. Our software does it very well, so you can feel safe flying on a plane. Our software works also alongside doctors to find tumors. X-ray images are sometimes very difficult to interpret. So an experienced doctor will point out the tumors, and after a couple of examples, our system is able to spot the smallest tumors all by itself. And the good thing about it is that it always improves because it never stops learning. So if you want to see other applications of our artificial intelligence software, or if you want to talk about a fantastic investment opportunity, I invite you to meet with me after the ceremony. <laughs>